Hello YouTubers, Atari Leaf here with another video review. This time a hardware review and it's a joystick add-on that was designed for one specific game and that's the booster grip. Uh, it actually says booster grip on here. I don't know whether it will show up on the camera. So right there it says booster grip. And the booster grip was designed as I said for just one game for the Atari 2600 and that is this game right here, Omega Race. Now, what you have here at the other end of the joystick, this is the other end of the booster grip. So what you did was you take your standard joystick, such as this. I'm going to try and do this here. And on here, right there, you plug your joystick into that, like so. And then you plug this into the back of your 2600. And what it did is because Omega Race needs two buttons to play the game and as, as you know a standard Atari joystick only has one. So you have a button on top for thrusting and the button here fires your missiles on your ship. So let's take a look at this uh, with Omega Race and see how it works. Okay so this is how it looks on your joystick. It sits on there like that. Now the joystick, the actual joystick on the Atari 2600 is not used at all. I don't know why. They could have just used one button on top perhaps and used the regular joystick for the other part, but that's the way they made it. So that button doesn't work at all. So as I said, this is your thrust, this is your fire, there's Omega Race. Let's see how it works. Oh. Sorry for the poor quality of the screen, that's just the way the easy cap is on the computer. It's a little hard to get used to actually. One thing I do notice right away, even though it works fine, is the buttons on the booster grip feel very flimsy, very cheap. Although it is working fine. And I just got wasted. So this is... Oh. <laughs> yeah, this is something that's going to take some getting used to. But it does work. It does work fine. Um, but I don't really like it. Like I said, it feels cheap, and in actuality, ugh, this is a completely, completely unnecessary piece of equipment. Uh, I've said this before when talking about Omega Race, I have no idea why they didn't just use a standard Asteroids control scheme where uh, pushing up on the joystick is thrust. I, I don't know why they did that, but uh, that, this is the way they chose to go. It was a gimmick as far as I'm concerned and an unnecessary gimmick. Now, if you don't have a booster grip, but you have a ColecoVision controller, that apparently will work too, but I haven't tried it. But as it stands, the booster grip, although works fine, like I said, feels cheap, doesn't feel like a very a good quality product, but if you want to play Omega Race and you don't have a ColecoVision controller, uh, you might be stuck, because you'd have no other way of playing this. This is Atari Leaf with another quick hardware video review. Thanks for watching, everybody, and have a great day. Booster Grip.